Hi everyone and welcome back to Dora Kitty. This right here is not a normal follow me car. It is an electric follow me car. And as it has come from a country with CJK characters, you know what's the kind of thing that could happen here. And it even has a label at the back to match. <laughs> anyway, let's just uh, let us do something uh, more normal for the time being. So uh, this is the uh, Follow Me e-tron from the uh, Flight Gear China uh, user group, also known as FGPRC. So there will be some uh, weird stuff in here that's uh, linked to the home country. Hopefully it won't be too distracting. For example, when I remove this. Goodbye, drive safe. Thanks, Conrad. That's what plays. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and set this up a bit and we'll see what kinds of fun we can have with this thing. The interior of this car is not only modern, but it's also configurable. Here we have all kinds of settings, just kind of like a, your typical modern car. We'll see what pops up in this. And I have to go ahead and switch interior style to, to a 2022 design, which is properly modern, just like that. There's also a few originals floating around. So, as you when you're traveling, you're going to go with uh, normal. This one just adjusts how much you can adjust the steering wheel by once you start with the car. Uh, speedo type, we're going to ignore that. Uh, it has its own already. And this button is going to be very important, pretty sure. Magic push tiles, we're going to turn that on. We might be driving on <laughs> grass a lot. Set a uh, license plate. And let's go ahead and start this car up. This is a reminder from the 3rd District Traffic Commission of Beijing. There are thousands of roads, and the safety is the first. If you drive recklessly, your loved ones will be filled with tears. Yeah, that. Anyway, let's go ahead and drive this thing off the lot. For actually car-specific controls for this one, you can pop that up by pulling up this. So, you sound like an acceleration pedal, which I am using right now. And it makes things a bit easier than trying to use the throttle, which doesn't normally touch with a car as a car acceleration pedal, which you absolutely do touch a lot. So right now I'm just uh, tapping the W button to accelerate, which works a bit better. Also the steer left and steer right buttons I found to be uh, better than actually using the mouse controls for some reason. I always go shoot. Now I understand why you guys have so much trouble flying planes. And I saw a horn. If you want to do that. There's also indicators, interesting enough. Or you can flash the hazards with the F key. And this is something that's going to come into play a lot later. So, uh, let's test this thing a bit, shall we? Uh, let's see how fast we can go in this uh, straight one way we can. Alright, uh, four ones mode is on. Three, two, one, go. Let's see what we're we dealing with. And it's still going. I think it's at airliner speed now. Alright, I think we're pretty close to top speed, that is. About 260 or so. I'm going to go ahead and brake because otherwise we will run off the end of the runway. Phase through that <laughs> right there. And we're going to turn it off. Onto the second. Onto. Back onto the apron. The airports are nice because uh, I think you can go nice and fast. Spoiler alert we won't be able to do this in a few moments. Alright, because this is a car, let's go ahead and take this thing on the road, shall we? Now, of course, uh, there, there is a pretty easy space to exit the apron, which is this bit between the two buildings here. I'm going to go ahead and take that. Uh, you should take that pretty uh, slowly, otherwise things, uh, things will judder around a lot. And this happens. <laughs> Yeah, this thing actually does have a crash detection system, and it will tr spoiler alert, we will trigger this a lot. So each time you trigger this, you can just press initialize, reinitialize safety, turn off your hazards, and things will be all fit and ready. Let's go ahead and back up and do that again. This time, slower. Or perhaps we could use the map because this thing apparently is a lot more solid than the last time I checked. 
Alright, so through the magic of teleportation, we are now running between the apron and the vat. So now, uh, we just need to find the road. Which would be right about here-ish. Exactly here, in fact. And let's get on. We're going to drive ourselves all the way down to Kuka Town and see <laughs> if that works. Uh, now, right away, this is going to give us trouble because uh, Thing cannot climb anything near that hole right now. So, we're going to go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and sheepishly check things down to this and get a ramp down to ground level. Get a nice ramp down to ground level. And apparently, we triggered that again, so that's two. And that's actually two, although we didn't get the good one. And we're going to go ahead and make our way back onto the road in some amount of safety. I might want to redo that entire segment because this is boring. Alright. And if you haven't noticed, there are speed bumps. <laughs> So, yeah, you need to be careful about that too, driving around. Otherwise, you can just drive this. It's a car. It's a car. You can just drive this around. This thing actually does have a cruise control. You just press C and it will hold your speed for you. But I highly recommend not doing that here. And this is another point where... It actually changes altitude, and now we're on top of that, so... Oopsie. We gotta reset things again. And now let's, con now let's continue on our trip. Yeah, there are a lot of little things like that you need to watch out. Such as this thing, which will kill you. Like that. That's four! <laughs> In fact, I'm pretty sure that cannot be passed slowly. We will try. Yeah, it cannot. We, we aren't gonna count that. Uh, that's one of the... That's one... That's the other place where you will need to drag your car manually past. And if you see the cars uh, heading like that, don't worry. It. I'm dri I am actually driving on the correct side of the road. Thailand drives on the left. It is that the uh, textures do not know that, so it is still driving on the right as if I was in America or Europe. As I said, there is a cruise control, but you definitely do not want to use it in this kind of road. Because these roads are not really designed for being driven on, you know, they're just scenery. For airplanes above. So when we're driving on it, things happen. Intentionally avoiding that way, that would have been really bad. <laughs> Alright, sharper! There probably would have been a warning sign in real life for that one. Good lord. It is not a race, this is not car pal. Yikes, yikes. Okay. Alright, we're not going to count that. We will only count the cases where the front airbags pulled. But yeah, that's another airbag deployment. This thing is fragile. Bao Chi Chao Su Si Tong Yip Si Young, keep speeding system activated, target speed 103. Yeah, so this is how the cruise control works. It's just a cruise control, and when you come across weird stuff, you can just brake or accelerate. And just like in a real car, it will go off cruise control for you. Alright, so we're past, we're past the power lines now. We will see the main junction in a few moments. And it will just uh, look really weird, but we should be able to just turn off this and drop onto the main road. And here it is. There's no road beyond this point. We will just have to turn in. Right, and let's go. Four plus two. Let's turn off the flasher and turn that off. All right, we are now on the main road. So this thing is a proper highway with a median, which is what you're seeing here. And unfortunately, uh, as I said, uh, in real life, there will be like probably two lanes of cars going in the same direction, so don't mind these ones. 
The Dong Chao Su Si Tong Yi Wan B Auto Speeding System is off. Bao Chi Chao Su Si Tong Yi Si Young. Alright, so now it's keeping 120 on cruise control. 128.5. There's also an auto steer, but it doesn't work well in my experience, so we're not going to use it. Oh good lord, this is this one is an evil bridge. Auto speeding system is off. Yeah, that. Speeding system activated. Target speed 100. If we had been only a little bit faster, the airbags would have deployed. Auto speeding system is off. Yeah, this car also bounces around a lot if you <laughs> jump, so you don't want to jump it. Drive safe, everyone. Don't do that. Alright. Number five. <laughs> that was a that was a pretty evil ramp. That was a pretty evil ramp that we just ran over right there. Uh, so, I'm just gonna go ahead and reset, unflash, and move on. I thought that was a rare, nasty one. This is a nasty one! That would have caused some, that would have caused a lot of problems. <laughs> Things are happening, I think we're entering the city. Oh good god, that would have, that would have been terrible. Alright, welcome to Phuket City, everyone. Our destination is a roundabout up ahead, which we will be reading sooner rather than later. Okay, uh, this is another... Okay, this one, uh, in case you all want to do this channel, this one is also unavoidable. Alright, this is the roundabout in question. <laughs> Uh, in real life, there's probably a statue in the middle alongside uh, a fountain or something like that. But for now, we're just going to go ahead, uh, climb into the median with our with our e-tron, and pose for an ending photo together with this husk of what the statue is supposed to be. So poetic. <laughs> That's it for today on Dark Kitty. Uh, the link for downloading this card can be found in the description below as per usual. And I'll see you again next time. Safe flights and safe drives as well.